Well, hello everyone. This is Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network, and I'd like to share with you a tool from UEN.org uh, that we've created to help with this, uh, to, to help sort through this gigantic flood of apps that are out there. Um, so, and it's called Apps for EDU, and I'm going to just uh, give you a quick overview of it. So, if you go to the UEN website, which is just UEN. Org. Uh, once there, if you click on that K-12 education uh, link here along the upper left-hand side, so I'm going to tap on that. <clears throat> okay, and you look down, and these are the resources for K-12 educators, sort of the place where we collect all of them. If you notice right here, the featured resources, there's one that's called UEN's app for EDU. So I'm just going to tap on that and I'll get into the search tool. So what this is, it's a uh, database, a growing database of educational apps and with a nice search tool to help us to help us uh, sort through them. So you can of course do a keyword search here. So if I was just looking for um, apps for math or maybe I wanted, uh, I wanted to find some math to help me teach fractions. So I get the keyword search like that and click search. So I'm just doing a regular keyword search and I get a pretty big list um, of apps back. Uh, and then of course let me just, uh, I'll go back to that search tool in just a second to show you some other features. But let's uh, let's just look at one of these. So I look at this one, I think, oh this one decimals and fractions, that sounds sort of interesting. You can see I have a nice little, uh, uh, a quick little uh, overview of what this app is, how much it costs, and there's also a ratings here. So these ratings that come up here, um, these don't come from the App Store. It's a different rating system than the App Store. So if I click on this one, um, I'll kind of go to its page. You can see I got a nice description here of it. Uh, if I've used this app, I'm the one who gets to rate it. Okay, you can see I just typed on, of course, I would like to uh, use the app first because now that's the rating you can see it showed up right there right away so you can kind of help uh, if you if you have an app that you really like or one that you've tried and is not very good this is a great place to come uh, to come share that information there's even a link right here that if you've used this app you want to uh, give feedback about it we'd like to add that information into the database um, now if I want to if I want to go get this app you'll see that there's a, a little spot here that says compatible with and then it shows the the devices that it's compatible with and uh, if I'm using an iPad I'll just click on I'll just tap on that one that says iPad and that'll take me to the App Store um, right to this apps um, spot there you go so there's the decimal and fraction so I can see the I can find out more information about it um, and if I decide it's one that I want, I can tap on that free button and go ahead and install. I'm going to pass on that right now. Um, okay, so it, it's sort of nice and convenient. Now, the, the thing that's nice uh, about this Apps for EDU database, I'm going to go back here and do a new search. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> uh, one of the things I want to point out is in addition to being able to do a key search, um, I've got this tool, these tools down here that I can I can refine my search. So if I'm um, looking for something really specific, I can say, you know, I only want to look, um, search in this stuff, uh, the language arts materials, and I can search by grade level. So I'm looking for fifth grade language art stuff, and I can even um, say, well, I want reference, uh, you know, types of apps come up there as well that I could select and of course I can say what kind of a device um, am I looking for so there's uh, I can narrow it down by that as well as I can have it sort these by cost okay if I'm only looking for free then I'd want to check that box and with that much I can click search and now I'm searching um, all I did right was uh, fifth grade language arts okay so here are some apps um, that have been correlated to the fifth grade language arts curriculum. All right, so same thing could happen if I said, oh, you know, I'm interested uh, in this chictionary. Create as many words as you can with seven letters. Hmm, kind of a puzzle. So I can click on that. And if I wanted to download it now, I would click on this iPad 
uh, link right there and it would take me straight to the iTunes store. Okay, So I can go back now. These apps that are in this database, in this apps for ED, edu database, these are um, all <clears throat> apps that have been uh, suggested and recommended by Utah educators. So it's not uh, just like Google going out and searching all the apps that are out there. They're ones that have been recommended and put in here by an actual person. So it's not a, it's not the hugest database of um, educational apps, but it's one that's ever growing. Uh, and you can see across the top up here, you, if you have an app that's not in here that you think is great, you can click Suggest an App, um, fill out a little form, uh, and we'll take a look at that and add it into this database. Okay, another resource that's, uh, that's right here that I, I want to point out is this one that says Teaching Ideas. So <clears throat> here's a selection of um, resources for the iPad. And there's, these are some really, really good resources. So if you want to go read some more articles, one of the, one of the great uh, sources of educational technology uh, information and resources is Kathy Schrock. So you may have heard her name. She's been involved uh, in education for a long time. And if you just click on that uh, that link there, you'll go to her page, and she the the, the amount of resources there at her iPad page are um, is just fantastic. She's done a great job of gathering of gathering stuff up. Okay, and a few other articles here um, that you might read, and then there is a whole set of links here for helping you find and evaluate. You can see apps for edu is right there at the top, but again. Um, some other websites and tools and recommendation places for finding finding apps as well as if you want to have a rubric or a form as you're looking at apps to help you evaluate an app to make sure um, uh, that it's going to be most useful. You can see there's a few different um, app evaluation forms here from a couple of different sources um, as well as a link here to the app to, to Apple's volume purchasing program. So if you're going to have a set of apps, I mean, you're going to have a set of iPads and you want uh, to, to purchase apps through the volume purchasing plan, which enables you to get most apps, or I should say many apps, for half price if you buy 20 or more. Um, there's some administrative uh, setup uh, uh, checklist that you have to go through to become part of Apple's volume purchasing program that allows you to um, to take care of all that in a nice organized way and be able to pay for apps with a uh, purchasing order. So that's if you want to go through, um, there's information there on that program. Okay. Also, um, some other great uh, iPad information further down the page here. So um, you can see some other good resources for learning how to use your iPad. And um, look, there's a whole article here on understanding your side switch. There you go. Okay, so that's the sort of basics of using the Apps for EDU tool here at UEN. Okay, so take a look, uh, a, great, a great source for sorting through this huge waterfall of apps that seems to be um, continually coming down on us. Thanks for listening.